Now we're up 6,000 on the session. I've been up around 7,000 a few times in cash games, but always lost some back, so my biggest win ever isn't that large. It's only 5,200, which was at a Live at the Bike session that took place about four years ago. It would have been 5,300, but the cashier shorted me 100 on accident, and I didn't realize it until I looked at the video later. Maybe I should rack up now in order to lock up my new biggest win ever. No. I'm not doing that today. I'm gonna to try to extend it, even though that mindset has always backfired when I've been winning this much in the past. What's even scarier is that we all agreed to do a round of additional straddles. I'm under the gun plus one with King 8 offsuit. I put the blind 80 out there, so we're playing 10, 20, 40, 80 with a $20 big blind Annie. It was 170 in the pot before the cards were even dealt. The small blind raises the 280. His name's Ping. I played with him the last time the vlog ventured into 10, 20, 40 territory. He's a high stakes cash game and tournament player with over 2 million in live earnings and several major final tables under his belt. Ping has watched a few videos on the channel and was also in Mexico with our group for the 25K Heads Up event a few months ago. We always chat when we see each other and we're friendly. He's got a good vibe about him. I didn't straddle the 80 to just fold to a single raise when I'll be in position the rest of the hand. I call, we're heads up. The flop comes, king nine six with two diamonds. We've got top pair and a backdoor straight draw, but not much of a kicker. The opponent checks. I don't wanna get blown off a hand with value. I check back, mostly for pot control and a bit for deception. The turn is the eight of hearts. We improved to somewhat of a hidden two pair. There won't be a free river for anyone. The small blind bet's 420. I now have pretty much the best hand that I'll ever have, aside from pocket eights, and sometimes I'll have either 10 seven or seven five, but often I'll bet those types of draws on the flop. I definitely would have bet earlier if I had flopped a set. There are too many draws and bad rivers that'll either give my opponent the lead or make it difficult for me to go for value. I wanna get more money in on this street before any card like a diamond, heart, 10, seven, five, or nine come out. I raise to 1100. This is on the smaller side, but I'm not 100% sure that I even have the best hand. Ping just calls, so I can rule out him having any straights. There's almost no chance he'll have a set either. With a pot this large and one card to come, I'm praying to the poker gods that we get a blank. I couldn't be more relieved when I see the deuce of clubs on the river. What an amazing run out and situation that we found ourselves in. I'm sure the raise on the turn looked extremely suspicious after I checked back the flop. There are just so few value hands that I'll have and way more semi bluffs that have now missed. Small blind checks. He's seen me over bet big with missed draws in the past. I'm gonna do it here for value. I bet. 3,500. 35. If I get called, this pot will be well over $9,000. I don't think that I've ever actually bet this much for value without going all in. In this case, I've got piles of money behind. Ping is deep in the tank. I started the hand of 20,000 and Ping has me covered. If he somehow shoves here, that'd be the most disgusting thing that I've ever experienced in poker. It looks like he has a very difficult decision though. He's probably replaying hands that he's seen me play in the past, whether it's in person or on video. As more time passes, I'm rooting more and more for a call. It's really difficult to piece together exactly the type of hand that he'll have. Could he be holding King Jack or King 10, or maybe Queens through 10s? Anything better, I think he snap calls. Even for a higher stakes game, this is a big bet, so no one appears to be considering calling the clock. A full three minutes of ping trying to solve the puzzle has gone by. Finally, the opponent comes to a decision. He puts in calling chips. I turn over two pair. Ping, understandably, isn't too happy to see it. King 8 offsuit helps me take down the second largest pot that I've ever won. I've run really well against ping. At some point, he's gonna win a huge hand against me, but I beat him for a big one in the previous high stakes session we played, and once more here, so unfortunately, he's 0-2 on the channel so far. He's a seasoned player who handles it with a good attitude, though. Oh, <laughs> for the first time in my life, I'm up just over $10,000. Having a five-figure win sounds pretty cool. I consider leaving, but no, I'm gonna keep going. I pick up ace-king offsuit under the gun plus two. The player on my right is first to act and raises to 120. I could call her three bet, it's good to mix it up. Here I just call. We're heads up, the flop is king 10-6 with two clubs. We have a sneaky top top. The opponent down bets to 100. Okay, I call. The turn is the five of diamonds, it's a nice break for us. I'm surprised to see that the opponent fires for 700. It's over a pot size bet. It's one of the benefits of not three betting 100% of your strong hands pre-flop because occasionally you'll be in a situation like this when your opponent will blast away on boards that you normally won't connect with all that well. I'm not guaranteed to have the winner though. I could actually be drawing dead or close to dead if I'm up against a set or two pair hand, but I get the sense that under the gun plus one is semi bluffing with clubs or a hand like ace queen. Seems like he's trying to get a fold out of me. Not gonna happen here. I make the call. The pot has become a sizable one. The river is the three of hearts. All major draws are missed. The opponent checks. He appears to have given up on a bluff attempt or maybe he has a monster like a set of tens or king 10 and is trying to induce a bluff from me if I called on the previous streets with a drawing hand. 
having a hard time thinking of a holding that Under the Gun plus one will show up with that I'm beating that can also call a bet given how this has been played. I doubt he'd have overbet paw on the turn with King Nine or King Jack. Maybe he'll have King Queen sometimes and can call, but that's about it. Since I don't want to get check raised in a pot that's already large enough for only one pair, I somewhat reluctantly check back, knowing that I could have gone for value. The opponent shows that he has Ace Queen offsuit with a Queen of Clubs, which is the type of semi bluff hand that I suspected he might have. We show that we had him beat the entire way. I'm not doing anything too special. I'm just getting dealt great cards, and more importantly, I've been getting great runouts. Thank you. With this win, I have a massive profit of $11,000. It can be nerve wracking to take a shot in the higher stakes games, there's a lot of risk. Today, we get rewarded though. It's been a dream session. We've got 26,000 in front of us. It's the most that I've ever had at the table. I play a little longer, but I push myself to the limit. It's time to rack up for what's by far the biggest win in my life.